So for this project, we are celebrating birthday month and we wanted to do that by helping others celebrate their birthdays. So we picked three kids and wanted to help uh, make a really special day for them, help them feel like they are you know, unique and special in a way. So just a year after we were married, right around our year anniversary, my husband was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. And we underwent chemo and radiation. We lived in the hospital for over a month. And because of his treatments, we were told that he was sterile. And so we knew the journey to start our family was gonna be more difficult than we had planned. Um, but he was alive and we celebrated that. He had a stem cell transplant and um, we actually just celebrated his 12th year celebration. So we're so excited that he's doing well, but we're really anxious to start our family. So we start um, fertility treatments. We did four rounds of in vitro and each time we didn't get pregnant and it was devastating. We didn't really have any answers why we weren't getting pregnant, um, but it just wasn't the right timing. And we ended up adopting our first son who is eight and a year later adopted a second little girl who is turning eight this year. They're a year apart, and the day I met her birth mom, I found out I was expecting and I was pregnant. And it was a huge miracle for us. Um, after trying four rounds of in vitro and going through the process of two adoptions and being told by several doctors that my husband was sterile, we knew that the possibility of me getting pregnant, not doing any form of fertility was impossible. And here enters Hadley Grace and she is a big miracle in our life and someone that is so easy to celebrate. But the extra cool thing about her is her birthday was on Adam's transplant birthday. So not only were we told on December 10th, 2007, we were told that we wouldn't have biological children. And then Hadley was born on December 10th, 2011. And such a miracle that she was. But over the years, we've really celebrated Adam's transplant birthday and his life. And just every year that's gone by, it's been such a huge celebration of his life that sometimes um, her birthday was overshadowed a little bit. So when I heard that we had the opportunity to celebrate her birthday in an extra special way, I jumped on board and Nicole and the whole team and everyone was so awesome to help us celebrate Hadley for her seventh birthday. And it's something that she still talks about, her friends still talk about, um, her sister wants the same birthday party, her brother wants the birthday party. It's caused quite the jealousy in our family that everyone wants this limo ride birthday party. But it was such a fun way to really celebrate her and focus on her. And she's just been the light of our life and um, such a beautiful blessing, so. Daniel is a kid who hasn't lived the average lifestyle. His aunt took him in when he was only three, and she's raised him ever since. Daniel doesn't ask much of anybody, so we want to help him celebrate his birthday the best that we can.
Jay is an awesome kid who has had to roll with some punches in his life that um, life has dealt him like it does with all of us, but he's done it with optimism and he's, uh, he's done it all the while being sensitive to others and caring about others. Jay is a kid who has so much potential and um, I'm excited to see where he's at in five years and in ten years and, and, and you know, from then on I, I just uh, think that Jay is going to move mountains through his life. It's, it's exciting to be his dad, to be his parent, to, um, to watch him progress, to watch him overcome obstacles, uh, to watch him have joy in helping other people. Um, and just, you know, live life, remembering kind of how it was, but seeing it through his eyes a little bit, or seeing it, I guess, through, through, as a parent, I guess I should say. Jay, happy birthday. So, Jay is a great kid. He is always helping other people. time the past couple of years. Um, we moved from Kansas City to Utah, right kind of in the worst time for any kid in junior high. So we kind of moved twice and he, you know, had to go through some kind of really low lows and he's come out and he's doing great. Um, he's in the National Honor Society. He's on the staff of the yearbook at the high school. He, um, He's really come a long way, and his dad and I are so proud of him. And we think this is the best birthday ever that any kid could wish for, and I'm sure he will remember it forever. We just carry on. been fun. So we got some great sponsors. We got somebody in pizza helping celebrate with pizza party. We got nothing but cakes is sponsoring birthday cakes. And we got a few activities. We have Mrs. Utah sponsor a um, little girl tea party with the limo. Oh yeah, we have Divine Limousine it is sponsoring the limos. And then Top Golf, where we're at right now, sponsoring the older kids with some golfing. And then we also had the Utah Jazz get involved and, and they sponsored some uh, tickets to the Jazz game. So, so thanks to all our sponsors.